him out at Paul Gauchi's farm, the Back to Eden, and we're going to be testing in his refractometer the mineral content of these different types of broccoli. First of all, I have broccoli sprouts, which I have sprouted myself. And then we have the microgreens that are broccoli, microgreens, and then some broccoli that I just picked out of his garden. So this is a refractometer. Can you tell me how that works? Yeah, you look through the lens here, and it's up, 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 up against life, and you'll see there's a whole like series of numbers. Yeah, it's at the bottom, it says bricks, and then it starts with 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It goes up to 30. And then you'll put on uh, the, the, the juice, whatever it tests, onto this little um, piece right here, and you put the cover over it, and you look up there, and, and then thing will rise up and show you what, what number okay, it is. Okay, this one now. Yeah, just rub that on there. <laughs> okay, this is higher than the sprouts, but not quite as high as your broccoli. Okay, well see, this is, this is a good indicator. So it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you grew these. You grew those. And you know, uh, microgreens. Broccoli microgreens. So it's the white okay, stuff. So we had a good time out at Paul's place, and it was the first time I've ever used a refractometer. And uh, the the broccoli microgreens tested higher than my broccoli sprouts. Uh, there's a lot to learn with this, and so rather than me explaining everything, I thought I'd give you a resource in the description below of a link to a PDF that talks about how to test the quality of your fruits and vegetables using a refractometer by Rex Harrell. It's the best thing I've seen on the internet. So that will give you a really great description. And you know, the thing is for me, I just like to be informed. I like to really test things out. Even though I believe my body is a refractometer. I mean, I can test really good foods with a machine or I can just go for the really good quality tasting foods. And usually if something tastes really good, it means the nutrient level is really high. So anyway, um, I encourage you to get the link below because that is a really great resource for understanding more about the refractometer. Refractometer that tests about the mineral content. We better start over because that's so loud. <laughs>